Okay. So we have radical. Why is this so big? Um so for the people that know what radicals are, radicals are basically as you know, like the basic kanji characters, or you can call it the building blocks. I've heard people call it the building blocks of kanji characters, but I just like to call them um the basics of kanjis, I would say, because radicals are usually like the first thing that you learn, well, at least at school. So, um, yeah, they're the first thing that they teach you, and then you start off with you know after you do radicals you start um off with the basic kanjis and stuff like that so yeah so um this is the first grade kanji this is the second grade or part one of the second grade um and as you can tell the first grade kanjis seem a lot simpler in terms of the amount of strokes so like Ni, uh, which means two, the number two, has only two, ten, two, three, three strokes, it's like six strokes, one, yeah, so y you can tell it's a lot more simpler than this, you know, oh, some of these have ten, twelve, stuff like that, and by the way, ten, twelve, I would say in the range of ten to fifteen is the average amount of strokes, um, but yeah, so, the point of learning radicals is to make life easier. Well, not in terms of memorizing things. It definitely makes it harder because you have to memorize a lot more things, but basically helps you out um, with memorizing the definition of kanji. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So helps you memorize the definition. For example, which I. So we have oh this yeah this is a perfect chart ah uh, um never mind hmm oh okay so we can use this so hopefully it loads yeah okay so as you can see on this chart actually comparing. Comparing these to like this, you can tell that some of these radicals are in these kanjis. Going back to the definition of radicals, radicals, the term radicals refer to the building block of kanji. Virtually all Japanese kanji characters are either a single radical or made up of two or more radicals. And basically, by memorizing the radicals, it just helps out memorizing the definition of what kanjis are. We have an example here. Uh, ichi, ishi, ame, en, o, oto, shita, i, hana, kai. This means one, uh, right, uh, rain, yen, the currency in Japanese, o, king, oto, sound, shita, down, Fire, hana, flower, kai, um, seashells, or yeah, seashells, or just shells. Um, and yeah, so basically, as you can tell, some of these kanjis have radicals in them, and like the definition, like like what the definition said, some kanjis are made up made up of multiple radicals, and some are just made up of one like uh do we have hmm. Hmm. no we don't i guess we can use this as a yoru yoru means night and as you can tell oh it's the other way around but uh basically it's not really though this this radical right here the one that has the one that looks like a katakana i is actually uh stands for people or a person so any kanji that has this radical 
is going to relate to something, something, just something that has to do with a person. Example, you find it would be rest. Yasumu. Oh, right here. Yasumu. It's a bit hard to see, but Yasumu. As you can tell, this has the um the Nimben. It's called the Nimben, which means the human radical. Yasumu means to rest. And this kanji right here means tree. Ki. And by adding these two together, it's a person laying on a tree and means rest. Yeah, so um that's what radicals are. You know, so most of these have radicals in them. Most of the first grade kanjis are radicals, like Ue is a radical, ko means small is a radical, this means up by the way. This is the opposite of shita, which I actually went over earlier, right here, it was one of the examples. Shita is down because, you can tell it's down because the stick is facing down and up is facing up. A mori is made out of multiple trees, which means forest. Mm, and yeah, like mimi is another radical, means ear. <laughs> or like he means sun. What else? What else? I mean, well, you can find a couple of them, like chito, chito, ichi. And actually, I can't find any ichi in here. Oh, but like he, like I mentioned earlier, he, ko, or kuchi. Right here, kuchi. Here. Um, yeah, this is actually another radical. Mombe means gate. And a lot of kanjis actually have this, like this means hearing. Or like, uh, I can find that in like. Uh, but yeah, like, like, there's a lot of kanjis that actually have this um, radical, so this would be a nice one to memorize. Um, something that I mentioned earlier, the nimbe, this one would be a nice one to memorize. Kuchi is a nice one to memorize. There are a couple um, radicals that you should memorize. You can just search them up. There's, a, there's actually a couple of them that you do have to memorize, or you should memorize. And, you know, there's a lot, so I just... I'm not going to go over every single one of them, but, you know, we have time, just search it up. Yeah. <laughs> this looks complicated already. <laughs> you, okay, it's not complicated once you get it. Once you understand the basic, it, it's kind of like art. Sorry, once I meant you... to have my mic near this time. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, once you, you know, get it understand the concept it'll be pretty easy right here if you guys want that with me um, uh, but yeah the only ones you need to memorize oh i'm guessing these are the grade levels never mind i'll struggle um, hmm. Um, oh, okay. Um, you definitely don't need to memorize all of these because um later oh this mobe later on when you oh that's not mobe later on when you learn um more more kanjis you're gonna start picking it up so you know uh you don't have to memorize every single one of them but just know the basics and how they work. What kind of what what they are and stuff like that. Adding on to radicals, there's a couple of types of radicals. The ones that I mentioned so far are all ten, uh, radicals that are on the left side of the kanji. So like, uh, yasumu is a hen because the nimben is on the left side. Or like, um. Oh, machi. Machi has ta in it. It's on the left side. This would be a hen. Another one. Uh, this wouldn't be it because it'd be the lower bottom. 
Mm-hmm. But this one, Hanasu, has this kanji right here, means to talk in it. So it'd be a hint. You know, I did this one too, this one, this one. You find a couple of them. Uh, hen is like one of the most common ones. Uh, you see hen pretty much on most kanji, especially on the basic ones, like the ones that you learn in first grade, second grade, maybe a bit in third grade. But once you get to third grade, you're gonna see a lot of a lot more of these type of things where uh what is it called um this kamai kamai where you have like things wrapping over the kanji like kind of like this this or like this and you have yeah and you have a kanji inside those type of kanji yeah, so going back uh the radicals that are on so um you know these radicals don't have a definition to, oh sorry radicals do have a definition to them. these type of radicals don't have a specific definition and these are just names of the radical so like any radical that's on the right would be a hen. Yeah, just basically, yeah, 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 just names for the position of radical. The definition itself would depend. Yeah, so, um, you know, when someone, no one's going to go up to you and ask you, oh, what kanji has a hen in it? You don't really need to memorize the name, just memorize the definition of the actual um, what is it called? Uh, radical. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you have tsukuri, or radicals on the right side. Kanmuri, kanmuri. Sorry. Or radicals on the top. Radicals on top are like. Uh, this one. This one has uh, forgot what it's called. No, not so. Uh. As you can tell, I don't know all the mind. You don't need to memorize the name of the radical, just memorize the definition. It would be cool if the position would hint the country. It would, it would. But it really does, sadly. <laughs> it doesn't help at all. <laughs> You'd be like one of those smart kids if you know the actual name of the radical, but it doesn't really help you out. Definition of the kanji exactly. So, what exactly are radicals? Are they add ons? Yeah, um, no, yes and no. You can kind of think of them as add ons, but also as the building blocks of kanji. Um, they're called the building blocks of kanji because they're one of the first kanjis that you learn. Like, this is the first grade kanji. You learn kuchi, ichi, stuff like that in first grade, and these are. The building blocks, quote unquote, building blocks for the radical. That's why they're just called radical. I'm oh, sorry, building blocks, because they're the first thing you learn, and you know you just add other kanji up. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry about uh, calling me Mother Sensei. You can just call me by my name, Mother. Doesn't really matter. I'm not strict on those things. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whichever it feels right to you, whatever you want to call me by, fine. Uh, so we have ashi. Ashi would be the radicals on the bottom. Ashi actually means feet. There's a kanji, if I can find it. I just saw it early. Oh, ashi, right here. Ashi means feet. I guess that's why they call it ashi, because your feet are on the are at the very bottom of your body, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, radicals on the bottom. Kamae, so there's actually a, a couple of types of kamae. Kamae's are usually, or not usually, are radicals that have more than two sides. So like this one, the very top one has four sides, two sides, three, that's three, right? Yeah, three, three, but sideways, two, 
three, I think. I've never seen that. Uh, but yeah, three. This one is very artistic. Four, five, four, maybe. <laughs> no, it's, I don't. Uh, these are probably kanjis that pop up in like high school, and I'm not at that point. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um uh I'm only a chuni. Chuni means middle school second grade. Well in Japanese, in Japan. In America I'm a freshman, high school. Oh yeah. Tare is hang down, radicals which hang down or hang on. Um kanjis. I honestly don't know why they have this, the one that is on the right side as a kamae, but not the left side. I don't know, but oh, it's a bit annoying. Yeah, apparently. And then you have Nyo, it's the bottom wrap. And I think, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this can be the other way. This can be the right bottom too. But this one can only be the top. Because, oh, top left, because this one, the top right would be a kamae. It's so weird. Kanjis are weird. But they're pretty interesting. They are very interesting. Um, yeah, so just, I guess, yeah, just kind of a tip on when learning kanji. Memorize the radicals first. Learn the definitions. Uh, just use the simple ones. Like, you know, just mem maybe just memorize. You know, start off with memorizing the uh, radicals that have two or one stroke. And then slowly move on to three stroke, four stroke. Then that should be good enough. Once you get to the five stroke part, it's a bit complicated. So you can learn those when you start learning more kanji. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe 254. 214. Close. Nowhere close. <laughs> yeah, 214. But you don't even need 214, or at least you don't even no need to memorize two. Yeah, there you go. Um, You'll definitely see kanji, because you know, when learning kanji, you're gonna need more than, um, you're definitely gonna need more than 214 to be able to speak Japanese fluently. You might need like, 1,500 to at least be able to speak fluently or be a normal Japanese person. Um, yeah, so, you know, obviously in the 1,500 kanjis, there's at least going to be every single or at least one of the radicals in the kanjis, you know, so, you know, you'll, you'll slowly learn it. Just automatically flow into your brain. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, so, oh, this is actually a pretty good example. So, this is something that I mentioned earlier, uh, rest, yasu, has the radical person in it, and the tree, one stroke, two stroke, or second stroke, first stroke, second stroke. Mm -hmm. Oh, what else, what else? Radicals, radicals, radicals. Hmm. Mm. Oh, actually, a tip on um a tip for the people that want to know, want to be able to um define if a kanji is a radical or not or you know, it's made up of multiple radicals or not. When you look at a kanji, you can tell that it has two it's made up of two or more radicals because because it wouldn't be connected. What I mean by this is, obviously, like this one isn't connected, but it's one radical because you know it's not that separate. Like this oto though is is made up of two or more radicals. You can tell the top part and then the bottom. Yep, oto sound. The bottom is the he, uh, which is sun. The top is what is it? Forgot. Uh, 
it's something. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a mistake of mine. I, I haven't studied. Well, I didn't study the radical. I was a not a good kid at school. I really didn't care about radicals at that point. I just wanted to be able to read my mangas. So I skipped radical. Yeah, that's a mistake of my mind. That's a mistake of mine. So definitely I suggest you guys to memorize the radical. Help makes your life a lot easier. And I can't find it. Well, rip. Uh on on yomi? Yeah, well, what about onyomi? Onyomi. Oh. oh yeah, onyomi, yeah. That I got from the... Yeah, onyomi has this kanji. But yeah, basically, um you know when when it's when it seems separated, it's usually separated. It's usually made out of more uh, two or more uh radicals. Like this one's made up two or more radicals. This one's one radical, one radical, one radical, two or more, one radical, one radical, one, two or more radicals. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, wait. What are you amazing at? The, the Oyomi? I meant. That I thought the only reading. Uh, the only reading for. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oto yeah, oh. No, no, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. And this can also be read as on or only yomi. Oh, but this is kind of it for radicals. Um, radicals are pretty simple. Well, you know, you just have to memorize them. Do you guys have any questions on radicals? I can, cause it's already it's about V eight, and we don't have we have like ten more minutes of Zoom class left, so we can either end class here. We can just quickly review radicals, end class here, or I can quickly go over. Anything you guys want me to go. The hell you is actually ready to cut. Yeah. I can hear. Yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Shit. You know, sharing what you know is one of the best ways of memory. If the other is one. Oh, I'm Oh, wow, everyone's using Anki. Go ahead, go ahead, please, share, share, share your thoughts, or idea, yeah. <laughs> Not Anki, is it? Yeah, um, isn't Anki like an app? Um, yeah, hi, oh. uh, I, I can show you just super fast. Okay. Uh, can you... Uh, somehow enable sharing for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Should work? Okay. Just give me a minute. I'm opening Yankee. So I would like to share just the thing. Uh, basically, I just want to show a super nice Anki deck made by someone who probably got um, the paid membership for a program and basically just put all the cards available. So it's free and you can get it from the website and basically it looks like this. Wait, okay. Yeah, he's talking about that. Okay, so, um, yeah, this, oh, sorry. This is the super nice deck. It's called One Ikani something. And it basically just shows the kanji and first it shows radicals like you mentioned, and then it shows the radic the the kanji that uses the radicals and then it even includes vocabulary sentences so for this one it's like atoro or something ushiro yeah I for fucking <laughs> this this one but yeah it's got this kanji this is the kanji and there's a lot of 
mnemonics for memorizing the thing. And basically the spaced repetition system built into Anki and it's basically the, the whole reason why you're doing this will ensure that you'll be seeing this again in the right amount of time for you to remember it perfectly as soon as possible. Oh, so yeah, wow. this is, it has for vocabulary writing and it's kind of, you, you have, this is basically a card. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if this is the right moment for explaining what Anki is, but basically you have a card and you have the front part and then you try to remember the back of the card and then you click and then you see the explanation and what you were supposed to remember. And if you guess it correctly, then you say you did good. If not, then you see, need to see the card again. And then the, the amount of time in between cards starts getting really long. I just, I'm not able to show you that because because these are all new cards. I wanted to show you new, uh, an old card. Yeah, I don't have one. Um, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a shame. Wait, I can probably. Oh wow! Thank you for sharing, though. That's... Yeah, wait. I can show. You, I can send the links for all of this. Just give me a moment. Um, yeah. I think I can navigate through cards here. Yeah. Okay. So, this, this <laughs> there's there's a lot of things. Um. And it's kind of complicated to navigate the brow, the, the, all the cards. But for example, <laughs> this, this one, this is, I can probably edit this somehow. Okay, this is the example. So this is, wait, no. So basically there's a lot of them and, and there's cards, reading, reading, yeah, reading, that's not what I want. I honestly don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't really find. It. But yeah, that is. It's, I, I'll just send the link, and you can read about it. And that should probably be enough. It's nice when when you get start when you start uh, seeing it for a longer time. Is like for example, this one. The next time it'll see, uh, it'll show me the card. If I say it's good, it'll be in three point six months. So it's it's nice. Oh. Basically, the the. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, maybe if some the, someone wants me to explain the, the spaced repetition system and the the whole Anki thing, I will. Wow. Um, wait, let me show. What deck is it? Let me jump. Let me just send you it. Um, basically, did you just download the app? You can you can probably speak as well. It's probably not too crowded for two people to be speaking at the same time. At the same time. Yeah. Oh, what is that deck called? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm. I'm just searching for it. Um. Okay. The ultimate Wanikani deck, all sixty levels, updated. So this is what you do. You just download that, and then you double click it, and it it'll probably open in Anki, and then you have to merge the three decks into one, and that's it. Then you just have to review. Do you want to share your screen and I can help you go through it? Oh, wow. Well, I don't have Anki downloaded, so it might be better if someone that does. Like Sheepy, who just opened Anki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What? Sorry. You want to share your screen and uh, do it? I can I can help you go uh, like um set it up if you want. Oh me or who? yeah sure. No no I have Anki on iPad so like I don't have it on my my. Oh thing. okay. No I I don't have like the actual Anki that you mentioned. It's like a different. It's called Anki a app, but it's like it it has like different like flashcards from like quiz and like Anki and all that. Ah uh, yeah, yeah Anki app. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's a free version, so I... yeah. So yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah but, um, <laughs> if you get a computer someday, <laughs> it's definitely a good way to do it. Just someday, I'll ex if you, uh, Maru wants me to, I can just explain space <laughs> repetition somewhere and, somewhere and explain why it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, trust it all. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you for sharing. Wait, sorry, did you want, did you want me to do something? Oh, no, 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 it's, it's all good. Talk. Thank you, though. thank you for okay, sharing. Okay, okay, next time. <laughs> Um, does anyone else have a question or just want to share something? Because if not, that's kind of it.
Um, I guess not. Oh, we'll be going to the Discord PC. Um, do you want me to? If you want me to, I can. Well, well, what do you mean by like going to the PC? As in, like, continue the lesson in PC? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, if you want, um, I'll... Yeah, uh, because we only have, like, two more minutes left. Yeah, if you guys have any, still have any questions, stuff like that, I'll clear up, I'll go to the VC, I'll clear some stuff up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, what's your question? Yeah, why, why are we using uh, Zoom for streaming? Oh, does, it yeah. not, does, does the server not work? Like, for, uh, for yeah, streaming? Oh, yeah, so, for, um, yeah, yeah exactly. The streaming, not the streaming, the recording doesn't, like, it lags a lot, the audio lags, the the video. Oh, okay, lags, okay, you're so. recording, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for answering. So when I put it on YouTube, it just decides to crash, that's why I just use Zoom. Oh, odd. Uh, oh, never mind. Does anyone else have any questions? No? Uh, then that'll be it. I'll go to the VC. I'll clear some stuff up. I'll just quickly review uh, radicals there. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, have a good day. Yep, no problem. Thank you guys for joining. Hope you guys have a good night or day. Bye. Stay safe.